Now let us learn how to find square roots by division method. So using this method we can find the square roots of bigger numbers or even unknown numbers. So let us see how to do this. So first of all we shall write this 4096 over here. 4096 and then starting from the units place we are going to group them in the groups of 2. So this 9 and 6 becomes the first group and 4 and 0 becomes the second group. So starting from the units place, make groups of 2. And then we are going to find the square root. We are going to draw such a shape. And then starting with the number 40, we need to find a perfect square less than 40. It is just less than 40. For instance, 1 square is 1. 2 square is 4, then the 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25, then 6 square is 36. This is little less than 40 because then the 7 square will become 49. So we shall be using the 6 square is equal to 36, a perfect square which is less than 40, little less than 40. So we'll be writing 6, 6, uh, 36 like this and then we shall subtract 40 and 36 and we shall be getting 4 and over there since we have written a 6 over here we're going to write 6 below it and 6 plus 6 will be added this time 6 plus 6 is 12 we're going to write 12 in such a manner that we can write one more digit over here okay so we need some space to write one more digit over here and then we are going to bring down this 96 together. Remember it's a group. So 96 will come down together. Now we are interested in finding a number. So that it starts with 1, 2. It could be like 123. But if I write 123, I need to multiply it by 3 only. So 3, 3 is 9. 2, 3 is 6. And 1, 3 is 3. So we get 369. But I want 496. So what should I be writing over here? Such a way that the same number when multiplied over here. So there's 120, let's say 124. So 124 Forza should give me 496. So we are interested in finding such a digit. So let us experiment more. Let's take um, 4 this time. So 124 Forza. So remember 1, 2 and then I'm writing a 4. So 124 Forza. 4 Forza 16. Yes, I, I've got this 6 at least. So 1 carry. 2 Forza 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. That's nice because I wanted 96 in the end. And 1 Forza is 4. That's fantastic. So 124 Forza is 496. And we shall subtract. 496 and 496 to get a 0 and over there we'll add a 4 so 4 plus 4 is 8 2 and 1 brought down as there so the answer to this is the square root of 4096 is this number 64 so this particular method is called the division method let us take another example what is the square root of 30,976. So first of all, we shall be writing 30,976. And then starting from the units place, we shall make a group of two. So 76 becomes the first group. 0, 09 becomes the second group. But this 3 is another group. There is no other digit. So we can understand, we can consider the, uh, 0, 3 over here. And then we shall draw these lines. And since we have three groups, one, two, and three, this tells us that this answer will be a three digit number. So let us start with three. So you need to tell me a perfect square which is just less than three or equal to three. So we know one square is one, then two square is four, but four is bigger than three. So we will we'll settle to one square. One square is one. So one, one's a one. And three minus one is two. 
and we'll add a one over here remember we add on this side on the left side we subtract on the right side so one plus one is two but it's very important that we leave some place over here okay because another digit is going to come and then we bring down the zero nine as it is now we need to search a number over here in such a way that when that number is multiplied over there for instance uh, let me take three so two followed by a three so that's 23 but then I need to multiply it with three only so three threes are is nine and two threes are is six but 69 is way less than 209 so we need to search for bigger numbers so let me take let's say 27 so if I write 2727 then I need to multiply it with 7 so 7 7 is 49 4 carry 2 7 is 14 plus 4 18 but this is also less than 209 that's nice so let me take 28 and see if it becomes bigger so 2 8 28 multiply by 8 so 8 8 is 64 6 carry 2 8 is 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 it becomes 224 now this is a bigger number so we'll settle with 189 so we shall be writing 27 7 are 189 so subtract over here 9 minus 9 is 0 and 20 minus 18 is 2 we shall be adding a 7 over there 7 plus 7 is 14 but just write this for a little away from this line because another digit is going to come over here 1 carry 2 plus 1 is 3 and now we are going to bring down the 76 now we are in search of a number in such a way that 340 watt multiply by the same watt shall give us 2076 or maybe less <clears throat> so let us do 340 now think for uh, think for a while what should i be writing over here such that when it is multiplied with the same number i shall be getting a six in the end so we know that four fours are 16 we have six in the units place and um, so let's start with four first and see if we get this 2076 so four fours are 16 we are getting a six in the units place four fours are 16 plus one is 17 one carry three fours are 12 plus one is 30. No, we are not getting this 2076. So what should I be writing after 3, 4? Um, shall I write 6? Because 6, 6 is also 36. So 346 into 6, let's do it. So 6, 6 is 36. So we again get 6 in the units place as we require over here. And then 4, 6 are 24. 25, 26, 27. 2 carry. Two, uh, 3, 6 is 18, 19, 20. Yeah, very good. So we get 346, 6, 2076. So we get a remainder of 0. That means this is a perfect square and that square root is 176. But let us just add this and make it complete. So 6 plus 6 is 12, 1 carry, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 3 as it is. If you just double this 176 you shall be getting 352 so the square root of 30,976 is 176 now let us discuss one more sum let's find the square root of 15.21 so let us first write 15.21 and then starting with the units place which is 5 we are going to make groups of 2 so this one five will be in the first group and on that other side of the decimal point we are going to make groups of two starting from the decimal point always remember we should always make uh, groups of two starting from this decimal point and then we shall draw these lines and tell me a perfect square which is just less than 15. so we know one one is one two two is four three three is nine four four is 16 and 16 is just bigger than 15 so we shall be writing 3 3 is 9 and then 15 minus 9 is 6 and we shall bring this decimal point down but instead of bringing it down we are going to put it over here so the answer would be 3 point something and we are going to bring down 2 1 21 
And over there, yes, you have guessed it correctly, 3 plus 3 is 6. Now we need to find a number such that when it is placed after 6, for example, 61, 62, 63, and then multiplied with itself, so that number multiplied with itself will give us 621 or a little less than that. So if I say 61 ones are, 61 ones are simply 61, but this number is 621. So that's a very big number. So if I try with 9, now you may be asking why 9? Because 9 nines are is 81 and I shall be getting 1 in the unit space as I require over here. So 8 carry, 6 nines are 54 and 54 plus 8 is 62, exactly 621. So 69 nines are 621 and then we get a remainder of 0 and 69 plus 9, 9 plus 9 is 18 and we get a 78. But the answer to our question is 3.9. So if you ignore this decimal point and if you double 39, you shall be getting a 78.